Hi everyone, I hope you guys are having a nice and cozy fall season. Um, today, I'm going to be planning out my month of October in my bullet journal. As you guys might know, I like to start out with my monthly spread first, so I'm going to get out some of the supplies I'll be using. I got out my painting brushes, my Canson XL watercolor paper, and I'm also going to be using my acrylic gouache paints for this one, which I did use in my September cover spread, but I'm going to use them again because I love them so much. Um, but this time I'm only going to be basically using one color for this entire spread and it's this raw sienna color. I'll also be mixing in a teensy tiny bit of the burnt sienna and the ash rose colors but it's basically going to be this raw sienna. I kind of pushed off this video till the last moment so I'm going to be doing something very simple this month. Sometimes my spreads take three to four hours to paint because of like drying time and I have to like get all the angles. So this time I'm going to do something a little more simple so I can get this video uh, out to you guys on time. And I miss kind of doing simple spreads every once in a while like this. It can definitely be like a relaxing mental break. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing this kind of like starry fern painting and I'm starting out by doing a sketch of everything just so I know what not to paint because I'm going to try to keep all of the leaves and the ferns um, blank so they won't have any paint in them. If you want to do a quicker way of doing this, uh, another way would be um, you could paint the whole page and then go in with like a white paint or a white uh, pen of some kind and do all the ferns that way after the paint dries. But for the look that I wanted to go for, I wanted to do it this way. Um, and I am loving this beautiful orange color. It definitely reminds me of the fall and October and pumpkins and just everything. It just makes me so cozy and happy. So um, I thought this would be the perfect color to use as the background. And the one thing about this gouache paint that I haven't quite figured out yet is the water to paint ratio that you need to get that kind of like um, solid background color. As you can see, some parts are a little streaky and I think that's because I put more water on my brush sometimes. I could go in with a second layer to make it more even, but I kind of almost like the look of it. And here I made a little mistake and I got some paint on the outside of my border area. So I'm just going in with my sand eraser, which is so handy. It's basically like a rough eraser that kind of chips off from paper any paint or pen that was on it. I just love this thing. It saved me so many times. And now I'm getting out my tried and true micron pens to add some details and outline all of the ferns. I'm just using a 0.05 size I think. I probably could have done a size up on that one but um, yeah I'm just doing these little details on the ferns and the way I've been drawing my ferns lately if you can kind of see is making the leaves a little like jaggedy looking if that makes sense. Um, I just like the look of that and then I just do one jaggedy kind of line down the middle of the leaf and that's basically how I've been drawing them lately. I don't know why but I like the look of it. Um, and now I'm getting out a just white pencil and also my micron pen again to do a bunch of little stars and little rainbow patterns all over. And again with the rainbows I just kind of make them imperfect looking and a little jaggedy. I don't know why but <laughs> I just like the look of it. Um, and then I'll get out my jelly roll to do the final kind of like little stars and dots everywhere. Um, and this painting is pretty much ready to go. I actually really love how this painting came out even though it didn't take me all that long to do. Sometimes it's nice to just keep things simple. I also forgot while doing this to add some little moons to it, which I really wanted to do and I totally forgot. So I ended up uh, scanning this and sending it to my iPad and adding in some little moons to it. And then I printed it out on my Canon Pro 100 printer and I'm just cutting them down to the correct sizing and this is how they turned out. I think they turned out so cute. Um, so we're just gonna put these babies into my journal. 
looking at how many pages I have left in this journal, I'm kind of scared I'm not going to make it to the end of the year. I don't know about you guys, but I always cut it so close, fitting a whole year of journaling in one journal, but we'll have to see. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm just pasting in my two calendars with my little Tombow mono adhesive tape and this is how my spread turned out. All right, so now moving on to my daily planning pages, I'm gonna try to do a spread that's kind of uh, themed the same as my cover spread. I kept this one a little simple as well because right before I did this spread and right after I filmed the cover, I found out my car got towed from my complex because I was dumb and I forgot that I accidentally parked both of my cars in my complex when I only have one permit. Usually I park the other one on the street. I totally forgot and I had to pay $300 to go get it and it was just a mess. <laughs> so doing this spread, I was honestly kind of stressed. But even though all that happened, I still think it turned out pretty good. Um, I ended up just pasting in one of my um, Pantone swatch prints that you guys can find in my shop. You guys have been loving them lately. I have them in these little four packs or individually and I just thought this autumn themed one would be perfect for one of my October spreads. So I pasted that in there, give it a little border and I'm just doing some black detailing with my micron pens um, and then I'm gonna do some writing I've been really liking the serif writing lately I've been kind of trying to practice different lettering styles and this one has been one of my favorites um, this time it didn't come out as good as usual because I used a really thick pen but I still think it turned out pretty cute but yeah this is how my first kind of daily planning page turned out All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my last spread. What I wanted the spread to be was actually a scheduling page uh, for the week, just to try it out. Uh, what I've been noticing lately is that I haven't been really good at sticking to my bullet journal to-do lists, and I think I realize why now. I am a procrastinator, and when I see a full list of bulleted items that aren't scheduled, I kind of freak out a little bit and get anxious about everything I to do and then don't end up doing anything and just procrastinating so now what I've been doing is scheduling everything in my day whether it's eating lunch whether it's uh, taking a shower whether it is doing my Etsy orders or filming a YouTube video I schedule everything hour by hour throughout my day so that I know what I'm doing throughout the entire day and it's just a lot easier for me to accomplish things and look at. For now, this is the end of my planning pages for the month of October. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun to set up these pages. And if you guys have any like ideas or scheduling inspo pages that you can show me, definitely send them over to me. Um, and before I go, I'm gonna talk about Squarespace who is sponsoring this video today. If you guys don't know who Squarespace is, they are a online platform that allows you to create your own website. I'm using them to create my own website and build my shop on there and I love it so much. They have so many different templates and tools that you can use to make it your own. Whether you're like me and want to create your own shop or you want to host your own blog or just want a landing page for your business, I would definitely suggest Squarespace to create your website. And right now if you go to squarespace.com slash Jenny Journals, you can get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you decide to recreate my October cover, definitely tag me because I'd love to see your guys' recreations. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.